Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make gold, silver and bronze in Blender. It's going to be fairly easy and we're going to learn how to set up the lighting and the colors. So uh, let's get started. You want to start off by switching to the cycles render for better shading. And then you will click X to delete the default cube. So click X and left click. Go into create and add a plane. Click S to scale up the plane. Left click to confirm. Add a monkey. And then you want to click G, then set, you grab it on the set axis, which is upwards. Left click to confirm, and then we want to go into the settings, and we're going to subdivide it, so click add modifier, and subdivision surface. Then increase the subdivision to 3, on both render and view. And then you want to go into tool, and add smooth shading, which is going to make the object smooth. Then you want to click Shift D to duplicate, then click G, then X, then 3 to add it 3, to grab it 3 units on the X axis. Then click Shift D again, and click G, then X, then minus 6, to grab it 6 negative units on the X axis, which is the other side of the monkey. And now we're going to add the lighting, so select the lamp, and then go into the lamp settings. We're going to make this into a sun. Make the size to 1, use nodes, and increase the strength to 4. We're going to grab the sun, so click G to grab. We're also going to rotate it, so look from up above, and click R to rotate. And just try to find the um, angle you want to have for the lighting. Just going to rotate it a little bit more with R. And left click to confirm. Okay. So now we're going to start adding the materials. And the way we're going to do that is to import the colors from Wikipedia. So the actual colors of each material. So a color for gold, a color for bronze, and a color for silver. So select the first monkey. And we're going to make this one bronze. Add a new material. Make it uh, glossy and make the roughness 0.1 and now we're going to import the color so search bronze then color on Wikipedia and then copy the hex triplet coordinates and then go back to blender and then click on the color then hex and then copy the um, color code or, or the color coordinates let's go back and as you can see, we now have bronze. And now we're going to select the other one and add some silver. Right click to select, add a new material, and make the roughness 0.1. And then we're going to make it glossy again. And now we're going to copy the color coordinates from the color silver. So search silver, then color on Wikipedia and then scroll downwards to the color coordinates and then just select it copy it and go back to the color and paste the uh, coordinates now for some reason I messed up the color code so I actually got the wrong color here so we need to go back and I have to copy it again to make sure it's right okay as you see, it's the wrong color, so I'm just going to copy it again. Let's see if it works. And then I'm just going to paste it again. Okay. Now I think it works. Yeah, it works now. Okay, so let's go back to render mode. And as you can see now, we now have silver as well. So I'm going to uh, add the gold material to the last monkey. So select the last monkey, right click, and then I'm going to use the uh, silver material and then just make a new one from that one so that I only have to change the color now that we know what kind of material we want to have. I'm just going to search gold color and then enter. And I'm just going to copy the coordinate, so FFD 700. And I'm going to paste it. 
So now we have all the three different colors we need for bronze, silver and gold. And now I'm just going to set up the render so that we can render the scene. So go back to solid mode and I'm going to go into the camera first and adjust the camera. So select the camera and then click numpad zero to go into the camera. And then you want to click shift F to go into fly cam mode. And with W, A, S and D, you can actually move around the scene and just like in a video game and find a spot you want to have for your render. I'm also going to make the rotation to zero on the y-axis and on the z-axis so that it's completely straightforward. And just adjust it a little bit. Okay. And make it zero again. Next step is to add some material to the actual floor. As you can see now, it's very light and white, and it looks a lot better when it's kind of dark. So I'm going to add a new material for the floor, and I'm going to make it glossy, just like the other materials, and make the roughness 0.1, and then make it dark. I think it looks, looks really cool this way. And the next part is to select the floor, and then go into edit mode. And I'm going to select the um, edges on the back. So hold and shift while I select all the edges. And I'm going to click E to extrude them to add new vertices. And then click set to extrude them on the set axis. And then we're going to grab it backwards. So click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis backwards. So before I'm going to start rendering, I'm just going to adjust the world background light. So go to the world settings, which is the globe icon. And then go back to rendered mode and let's see how it looks in different lightings. As you can see, it kind of looks better when it's dark, so we're just going to keep it dark. You can obviously change the colors to whatever you want. But since it's glossy, or a glossy material, it's going to affect the uh, material for the uh, gold, silver, and bronze. Let's just increase the uh, resolution quality to 100%. I'm also going to increase the resolution overall. So I'm going to make it, let's say, 2560 times 1440, which is a high resolution. Then we're going to go down to sampling and increase the samples. You can have as high as you want. It's going to increase the quality of the render. And then we can just click render. If you want to learn more about Blender, just go to my channel and see my other tutorials. And thanks for watching.